t- when you think about healing, for most of the people, what do you have in your mind immediately? Well, for most of the people, of course, go get the pills in the medicine cabinet in your house and somewhere. If you have a little headaches and aches and pains in the body, right? Otherwise, you go see a doctor, and then so get the prescription, and then so go to the pharmacy to get the medicine. So that's what most people think about. When you hear somebody says, "Well, you know what? Your body has the most powerful medicine for healing everything," and you might say, "Oh, come on! You know, so how could that be? How can that happen?" Well, you know what? That's not only I say so. All the masters, the Qigong masters, and the most powerful Chinese medicine masters in the history said the same thing. And they said the most powerful medicine. It is not from outside, not the pills, not the Chinese herbal soups you drink. It is from within. Qi is the most powerful medicine in our body, helping ourselves to heal, to balance. So, where is the location of of this Qi, and how can we activate this Qi to help us to heal? So today, I will take this opportunity to guide you. To do a chi hunting, so I will help you to explore together what is chi and why it is so powerful. This medicine and、uh, how can we activate this medicine to help us to heal and heal completely? And then we're going to do some practices together. Now, see if you have a paper cut in your in your hand. Then the other day. You will have,、uh, you might have a cold and something. The body has the intelligence to know what kind of、uh, medicine or chi it needs to fix the paper cut, what from the paper cut in the hand, or fix the cold. It, these two things are completely different things, right? In If, in Western medicine, you, know, you need to find the different things. You know, for a cold, you need to get a pills to, uh, to uh, get inside the body. For、uh, the paper cut, you know, get a bandage, right, or, or some medicine cream, and put on. But here in Qigong practice, you go inside to activate this qi, and this qi has the intelligence, has the wisdom. To heal all these things. Now, how to activate this chi? Then, there's a few physical movements. The, well, in Qigong practice, there's so many, many Qigong forms and movements out there that people are teaching. But you know what? Only a few movements are most effective. Now, why these movements are most effective? First of all, you need to know a little bit about qi button location in the body. Qi buttons, these qi buttons, do you, they have that hidden power working as the transformers in the body, making the qi flow in the entire system, connecting to every part of the body. And you, do you know where the locations of chi buttons? There's quite quite a few, right? Doing some unique movements, you are able to activate you know, these buttons to help you to heal. All the energy buttons, they locate in the joints, in the fingers, in your feet, in your spine. So when you move your wrist like that, right? You know what? How many energy channels and energy buttons you open? Okay. See, let, let me let me show you. So there's an energy button right here, about you now two inches from the second line of your、uh, the bottom of the palm. Just put your hand, two fingers 
right over there. So at the end, with the edge of the two, the, the middle finger, so right here in between the tendons of uh, of your, your hands, this is the energy button for your heart. People who have a, a irregular heartbeat or high blood pressure, hey, this is the button you you can massage deeply all along. You know the, uh, the bottom of the hand. You have a lot of energy the buttons for the heart, for the reproductive organs, for the lungs. And the Haku point in the hand, right over here. This is good for stomach, digestive system, headaches. This is almost the, the point that's good for the pains. Most of the body, you can help to stop the pain, especially the pain in the neck, in the head, and the stomach, and the chest. So now, by moving your hand gently like this, breathing of the universe, holding your hands in you know, the harmony of the universe, doing those movements, you are able to help to open up slowly and stimulate that intelligence of qi to help you. And the elbows, they have a lot of energy buttons connecting to the lungs. For instance, if you have a coughing in the lungs, you know what? Cup inside part of the elbows. Cup. Like that. Do the left side first and go to the right. You are able to stimulate the energy buttons, the chi buttons, to go connect to the lungs, to clear energy blockages in the lungs, in the chest, in the breast, and in the height. Shoulders. Under the shoulder, on the armpit, there is an energy point connecting directly to the heart, cupping the underarm, this area. And especially the left, left side. That will help you even more. And then, so again, the, the hips, the knees, the hips has a lot to do with the kidneys. If, uh, how do I know my kidney, my bones are doing good? My bones are doing good. Well, look at the hip joints. If your hip joints are doing pretty well, that means uh, your kidney's energy is pretty good. And how about your knees? Well, your knees, there's an energy point, con buttons connecting directly to your liver. If your knees are doing good, very strong, no pain, liver energy is very, very good. If you have injuries in your knees, and if you don't heal up your injuries soon enough, what gradually if this blockage is you will block the chi flow into your liver so then sooner or later your liver is going to have some challenges you see all the joints so the those movements in five elements qigong movement will help you to open up these energy channels